Helia's Steam release is just around the corner on March 25th, and excitingly, along with this launch, we will also be receiving an incredible update to the game, so let's go over all the latest Palea news together. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone, and today we will be taking a look at the latest developer update from Singularity 6, the team behind Palea. This update will be giving us a first look at some incredible new features for the next update, along with other features in development, a developer Q&A, and more. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So first up, of course, we have Palea's Steam release date landing on March 25th, which is just around the corner. Along with this release, we will be getting an update, version 0.178, but what exactly will be included in the next patch? Well, the theme is all about spring, so let's go over the details. We will be getting another brand new temple to explore called the Temple of the Roots. This temple has been built based on player feedback from previous temples, so while it will be a new and exciting experience, you should feel more guided than you may have in the Temple of the Gales. The team provided an example of how they've added flowers to help with directions, and there will apparently be some brand new mechanics introduced in the temple that the team will be using in future temples and adventure zones. As a refresher, adventure zones are areas of the Palea map to explore beyond Kilima Valley, Bahari Bay being the first of many to come in the future. The team also left a little hint about the Temple of the Roots that fans of Galders will have something to look forward to waiting for them. And I for one love the Galders, so I can't wait to see what this is all about. Personally, I thought that this would be the final temple in the game now that we have four elemental variations. However, the team confirmed that this will not be the last temple and that the overarching story of Palea is only just beginning. This is incredibly exciting to me because this truly feels like a game that we will be able to play and enjoy for years and years to come. So to know that things are still only just getting started is really promising in terms of the volume of content we can expect to enjoy in the future. Future. Next, updates to climbing will be included in the next patch, which is very desperately needed in my opinion. There's nothing worse than getting stuck halfway up a steep climb or making your way all the way to the top just to be unable to pull yourself over the ledge and falling all the way back down, even when you have plenty of stamina. Now again, we'll be the judge of the degree to which climbing is truly improved once the update releases, but knowing that this is on their radar and they are actively working on fixes is amazing and I always appreciate how communicative and transparent the team is. The next new update with version 0.178 will leave cottagecore girlies shaking in their boots because we are getting a brand new flowers and trees feature and it looks like it'll be super enjoyable and rewarding for us as players. With this update, you will now be able to decorate your plots with a lush array of flora and you will actually obtain flower seeds as a potential drop from catching insects. So get those honey lures at the ready. When you plant collected flower seeds on your home plot, they will start at a sapling stage and will need to be watered as the time passes for them to fully grow in. But these paleon flowers are everlasting, so once they're fully grown, you can pick them up, move them around, and arrange them to your taste. And if that wasn't enough, all of the fully grown flowers then have a 100% chance to drop just one seed of that flower type, so you can finally start creating the garden of your dreams. As for trees, they will still have a chance to drop seeds when you chop down their equivalents out in the wild, but they will now have four distinct growth stages and will need water and time to pass in order to grow. An amazing new feature for design is that you can actually choose to stop growing the trees at any of those four stages if you're a fan of any particular look, and they can all still be chopped down at any point for resources. But that's not all. To go with the outdoor additions, the team will also be adding some brand new decor called the Spring Fever Set. No confirmation yet on how exactly exactly we'll be able to unlock these items, but I can't wait for all of the outdoor decorating potential. As for new premium outfits, wedding gowns and suits will be added to the shop, which as a reminder is currently Palea's only form of 
monetization, which is an otherwise free-to-play game. The really neat thing about these outfits is that when multiple players who are wearing the wedding fits gather together, flowers will grow and bloom, with more appearing when up to five players are nearby each other. How special and sweet is that? Also, don't forget to wishlist Palea on Steam if you haven't already, because the Frogbert plushie campaign is still ongoing, and we are en route to unlocking the biggest frog plush of all, available for all players at login with the Steam release. Interestingly, the team noted that if they reach their end goal of 500,000 plus wishlists, they might be able to accommodate something they know players are sure to love. Based on all the feedback I've seen across their socials, I hope this means that we will be getting all sizes of the Frogbert plushie if we reach that milestone, because I personally really want one of the smaller sized ones. I just think they are so cute. Now that's all for the next update, but the team is also giving us a first look at some really amazing new features that are currently in development for future updates beyond version 0.178. First up, the addition of building blocks is on the horizon, so players can get extra creative with building structures and decor pieces on their plot. There will also be a brand new housing blueprint, which appears to add a second floor to your home, if I'm not mistaken. We will also be able to decorate with a variety of pathways and walkways in the future, specifically noting wooden and stone variants. Friendship level 5 will be added for the NPCs, which is huge. A grid system will also be added to the map, which will definitely improve player communication. And we will finally get those highly sought after ammo pouches, similar to the quest pouches we currently have, but for equipable ammo like arrows, fish bait, and bug bombs. I cannot wait for this feature because it's going to help so much with inventory management. That's all for now as a sneak peek, but the team will be sharing more details in future posts, the cadence of which will be slightly changing. The team has decided that instead of sticking to a fixed monthly developer update, they're going to share them whenever it makes sense, which could include posts that are more spaced out or several in a row. The reasoning behind this is that they just don't want to be restricted by any self-imposed guidelines, and that overall, we should expect to hear from them a bit more frequently, which of course, I love. And as always, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on to stay in the loop with all things Paleo. Finally, for this super informative blog post, the team answered some FAQs, so let's go through them together. The first question is, how often will the Magi market come back? And the team has confirmed that the Magi Market will be held twice per year with two different themes. There will be one more traditional version during the Lunar New Year, just like the one we recently experienced as a community. And then there will also be a more casual form of the Magi Market, hosted sometime around late summer or early fall. The team further shared that what remains the same and what changes across markets will vary, but to please note that they will continue to bring back, rotate, and add new rewards with each regular appearance, which sounds amazing to me. Now just to clarify, that's not to say that the Magi Market is the only special event that will occur in Palea. The team has definitely communicated that they have plans to host other fun events. The next question asks if there is a reason why certain bugs take such a long time to get fixed. And the team shared that while they're doing their best to resolve issues, there are a lot more processes and things involved for a game that is multiplayer and cross-platform compatible. Something that might appear to be a simple fix on the outside might not be so simple, and emerging issues may require more effort to properly resolve for the long term. So overall, the team just wants to make it clear that they absolutely wish to resolve, you know, all bugs, but sometimes it's not so simple, so they very much appreciate players for being patient and understanding. The next question asks if there are plans to expand on the current community features and if the maximum membership number can be raised. The answer is yes to both questions, however they don't quite have any more details to share at this time. They do know that many players are looking to see more social features and the community is a great avenue for that with lots of room to be expanded and they want to share more with us soon. I'm really hoping that soon is sooner soon, not later soon, because I think the community features could have so much potential but right now they don't really serve much of a purpose. I definitely also hope the cap could be raised much higher than it currently is. The final question answered in today's developer update is why the maximum number of friends is currently capped at 200. And the team said that this is actually due to some technological limitations. And they also wanted to add that the cap actually does apply to any pending requests. So if you don't have 200 friends, but you're at your limit for some reason, make sure to clear out any pending friend requests to free up some space. So that's all for today's developer update. There was a 
ton of information included in this one. Those brand new features we have to look forward to on March 25th, some other features that are in development for future patches, and we also got a little bit more information on some of those hot topics. So be sure to let me know down in the comments which brand new feature coming to the game you are most excited about and ready to get your hands on. Anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. Please go ahead and shine the lovely like button if you are excited for Pelia's spring update. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And until next time, take care.